welcome, welcome, guys. Space Trucker Cleat is here um, at Horizon. And um, we're just about to start a day with a nice ice cream. Best breakfast. Breakfast of champions. Well, here we are. I'm still here. Don't worry. I'm not going anywhere. I'm I just I'm waiting for the next big update. That's all. I'm, I'm in the game. I'm uh, trucking around. Um, I just can't make many more um, routes because I've done most of it. Um, so I'm just waiting on the big update. In the meantime, I've been doing some shopping, as you see, some clothing shopping. I sadly had to earn a life, a whole village to get some clothes. But, you know, other than that, I'm a good guy. It's, you know, my characters need some clothes. That's all. It's, uh, I feel bad for that community, but that's okay. <laughs> We're off today on the, um, I would say the most safe grinding route that I have. Uh, it's, it's good for about 300,000 uh, profit. Uh, if you do it with a caterpillar, if you do it with a C2, it's going to be, I think, 350 in total. Um, today we're taking out the Carrack because I just love that one and I've been using it a lot. Uh, slightly uh, less um, SCU, so, you know, that's okay for this trip. I don't care too much about the money. Look at that. I just want to I just want to show you the route and take you on the trip. It's going to be, you know, um, as a role playing trip, no, no cutting anything. And uh, won't be running around like an idiot. Just relaxing a nice relaxing cargo trip from Horizon. Then we're going to go to the pyro uh, jump station gonna pick up our load there first we're gonna pick up uh, some um, scrap actually here we're gonna sell that over there that's gonna be about 20,000 profit and then we're gonna get the um, what's it called for tonight or something like that <laughs> I have no clue what it is but it's paying good it's actually um, it's paying I would say just about the same as a barrel um, with the difference that you don't have to go to a pirate infested planet to go get it you can just go to the space station which makes life a lot easier if you just want to relax do some trucking do some music and uh, you know that's all what I'm all about actually <laughs> so uh, first things first we're gonna pick up some scrap here at Horizon. I hardly come to Horizon, Horizon actually. I still don't like the city. It just takes so long to do anything here. But it's the best place to go to sell uh, this stuff. So for the video, I think I'm not coming back to Horizon. Horizon. I think I'm going to Area 18. But um, if you want to make the most of it, you just go back to Horizon or to another city uh, if you just want to have a good trip. It's going to pay well anyway, um, as good as it gets. It should be about an hour, maybe less. Oh, I never actually noticed these things. Do they actually tell you something? Looks interesting, but I don't know. Oh, that actually does tell you something. I never noticed that. What kind of a trucker am I? It's terrible. Okay, well... Doesn't make any sense to me. Let's go anyway. So yeah, as I said, it's, it's the most safe grinding trip out there. And still decent money. I mean, 300k, but just flying, you know, Flying your spaceship, that is just fine for a trucker like me and probably like you if you're watching this. We're the same. Um, <laughs> that's all we need. Like I said, we're going to Area 18, I guess, um, when I picked it up because I really, really love that place. And I don't care too much about getting the maximum profit. I got my money, I always want to have about four to five million just to have it and spend on stuff, maybe help some people out. 
So that's what I try to keep. Ooh. Anyone ever jumped off it? I'm pretty sure people did. I haven't done that yet. I'm not going to do that. <laughs> Man, this is like Cleet is going to the big city looking at everything. <laughs> I hardly come here. It's um, it's nice now. It, it It's really nice, but it just takes so long with everything. So I'm not, it's not my favorite place to go. But for this trip, and to sell your barrel normally as well, but um, this stuff as well, it's good to come here and sell it. And make sure you take um, scrap on the way back. If you go out to anywhere, take scrap, you can always sell it. It's easy money. Don't fly. Oh, gonna make it. There we go. Don't fly empty without any cargo, just put some scrap in there. Oh, it looks like we're gonna have like a sunrise uh, going on. Sunrise at horizon, that's not, it's not, it's not bad actually. It's pretty nice. That's yeah, gonna be good. All right, so um, I hope everybody is uh, still enjoying their time in Star Citizen. Um, I know we've, I think we've all been waiting for the new update that's coming, uh, which is going to be, yeah, it's going to be a milestone for a lot of things. But of course, especially for the cargo area, which is my area, and I'm looking forward to it. You, you can't even imagine. It's going to be so many cool things in there so many new things and uh, yeah simply just can't wait and got a feeling it's not too far away kind of feeling it's gonna be pretty um, surprisingly fast when we don't expect it that's my idea I, I'm not sure if I'm gonna do the um, the test uh, thing I'm not sure if I wanna I want to do that probably just wait until it's in the uh, in the normal live server but maybe I'll, I'll go and do the testing just to check some things out already but yeah it's gonna be uh, interesting with the uh, with the new hangers and stuff like that get all your stuff in there uh, the new loading options do it manually do it automatically I probably will go automatically most of the time because I think it's a it's a bit weird that um, a captain of a spaceship is there loading its own spaceship that's a bit weird it's like that doesn't happen but it's still you know it could be fun um, I just think after a few thing a few times you, you get tired of that so I'll just do it automatically but um, yeah, looking forward to it. Also, the whole new setup where everything is in your in your hangar. There's no inventory anymore, no local inventory. It's gonna be um, inventory terminals everywhere. I really, really like that idea that you you have to go somewhere to pick up your stuff. That makes so much sense to me, and I'm looking so forward to that a lot. That's gonna add a new layer in in my um, yeah in my role playing game. I think in general, I think a lot of people don't like it as well because you know got to do extra things. But um, ooh, look at that, it's pretty good. Good morning, Horizon. It's another day. <laughs> well, like I said, I, I think a lot of people maybe don't like the idea. But I love the idea that, you know, you can't have your stuff everywhere. So that means you got to think a little bit more about what you take and uh, plan it even more. And yeah, that's, that's interesting, I think. So definitely in for that. And, um, you know, get your, your ground vehicles in that hangar as well. Um, it, it all makes sense to me. So... I'm just very curious on on how it's gonna, you know, how it's gonna be working out, and I hope it won't be a 
big mess when it comes out. Uh, you know, I can hope. I got hopium. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be good. All right, let's get the ship. We got the Karak waiting. I've been using this a lot just to, um, to have some fun and fly around. You know, help some people with it. Do some cargo. Do some camping. Love it. That's uh, that's the only thing you can't do that cargo thing with the uh, with the Karak, I guess loading it manually um because the doors the, the cargo things don't open up so i'm pretty sure that's going to be um on a timer then but it sure would be interesting to load up the caterpillar although with you know a couple of uh, 32 oh look at that uh, 32 seu boxes here that thing is is quite filled up quite fast all right let's get this thing in the air it's been a while for sure like I said I think uh, two months maybe even from the last video I'm sorry about that but I feel I want to only do a video when you know when I have something to do at least and uh, something to show you guys um, and that's that's this one. This this is a good route. I wouldn't even call it a route. It's more like an it's, it's a grinding thing. But still, I like doing this one, just with some music on. Maybe in combination with another route. Um, it's good money, so why not? But like I said, I usually go to Area 18 because that's my that's my favorite city. So it's my home. Just checking if nobody is in the hangar here. Jump on board. We can't have any uh, stray cats on the ship. But I have to say, so far it's been, it's been pretty good. I, I never had any strangers in the ship. I had a few trying, but they weren't they weren't too careful with it, so that was easy. Just wait until this one is up. There we go. Quick check at the cargo. That looks like scrap. Definitely scrap. All set, all good to go. Onwards to uh, the pyro uh, jump gate station thing. <laughs> I have no crew, but it's um, as big as a mess you would have when there's a six-person crew. <laughs> Alrighty. Start her up. Nice uh, sunrise, I would think, coming up. All systems good.
Thank you. And please visit again. Alright, let's see where we're going. Stanton Pyro Jump Point. That's where we're going. Get them some scrap. Get us some hefo stuff. I do like it that they uh, at least changed the atmosphere. It's not that much of a trip up anymore. That's <laughs> that's really good because that was a pain in the beep. That was terrible. Oh, no way. Still a good trip up. Long way up. Maybe, maybe one look at the sun, sunrise. Ah, oh, look at that. Okay, that's that's a screenshot right there. Great. Sorry about that. Always a sucker for a good screenshot, and this is one. Right. Power jump point, 33 million. Here we go. So as soon as we're safely out of here, we're gonna get a drink and some food. Should be safe. Yep, well, let's go. Let's go to the crew mess and uh, get some snacks. It's a long trip. That's a mess. Oh, <laughs> maybe I haven't been flying uh, <laughs> really nicely lately. Hmm. Well, I got some time. I'll, I'll clean it up. So we got some time. Got a few million miles to go. <laughs> might as well, might as well clean up my kitchen. <laughs> Sorry about this. Uh, this should be a timestamp in the uh, description to just carry on and and go to the jump station. I just need to do this. This is a mess. I don't even know how that happens. Cause I'm I'm not doing anything weird with this ship. Just flying it. I always find it kind of relaxing to have everything nicely laid out. You know, food in the food section, drinks on the side. I get a lot of visitors on board, so it's nice if they, uh, you know, if they have a, something to eat and to drink if they want. 
so it's nice if it looks good and that's what we're doing <laughs> because <laughs> we have nothing else to do there we go later on we should get a beer of it we're almost there see this is how fast it goes super easy let's go back drive so we're almost there I guess as I hear, hear it slowing down oh there we are ah. this fits perfectly in time like this and uh, there we go pyro gateway selling scrap Getting half a night thingies. No, not half a night. What's it called? Forgot it. Half a night. Is, is that even a is that even a thing? Mineral commodity. Hmm. Okay. Oh, it's used for the thermal insulator. It's important stuff. That's why it's so expensive, I guess. Alright, let's spark this thing. Landing gear out. Let's bring it in. Nice and relaxing. I love this. I love approaching a space station and landing it. It's something, uh, I don't know, something. I'm using a, a HOTAS setup. So, especially with the bigger ships, using the throttle kind of uh, adds it to the immersion, I think. It, it, it actually feels like you're removing something heavy. So, that's always a pretty cool thing, I think. Especially with the stations where you just fly in like this. I love it. You can do this all day. <laughs> Of course, when I'm uh, when I'm just playing and, and you know being out there, I have t the chat on. I actually like it to chat with people that are in the game as well about you know anything. So just having a good time. That's what that's what this is about for me. And I've, I have to say, I met a lot of great people, especially the last few weeks. It's been really, really nice. A lot of people out there that are just genuinely into this game and, and just just good people. That's that's nice to see. All right, let's put it down. Nice and gentle. Landing complete. Let's do that. <laughs> All right. Let's uh, let's sell the scrap. Uh, let's get out.
So I think what I've what I've seen in the the latest YouTube video of Star Citizen, if you choose to automatically have your ship uh, loaded, it's gonna cost about ten minutes or something, nine minutes I saw, maybe depending on where you are. Um, it adds to the realism, I have to say. So you can just you know, turn that on and do some shopping, do some, get something to eat, to drink, and then your ship will be ready. Makes sense. And like I said, I like that idea. It adds a little bit more realism to it. As far as realism goes in a space simulator in the future. <laughs> but we'll uh, leave that aside. <laughs> Let's get our stuff sold and buy some new stuff. Lobby. And there we go. Store the ship. Welcome to the ASOC vehicle retrieval system. Please visit us again. And off to the shop. not good. Seems like these new um, jump stations, they have, still have some spots in there that will kill you. <laughs> this one wasn't that bad though. The other two, they have uh, major spots in there. So this one, this one was okay. Alright, let's uh, sell the scrap. Like I said, it should be about 20,000 profit. Anything good? Which is nice, which is good. For anything cargo related, the terminal's your best bet. There we go. Sell. Uh, 22,000 profit. That is not bad at all. There we go. F. F is that tonight. <laughs> 1.059 million. So 1.06 million. That's what you need. But that's going to be a good amount in uh, profits. Like I said, it's different with Carrick or with the Cat, of course. It's going to be more. And with the C2, it's going to be really nice. But um, even with the Carrick, I love it. It's easy money, save money. It's nice to do. It's uh, this is trucking. You can combine this with you know, with any other trip because after you drop this, you just take more um, scrap and head out to the next uh, route you want to do. You know, and if you if you combine a few, then you'll be out there all night and uh, you make some good money. I do have to remind you that I have the uh, the biggest route as well on here. It's in my videos. I'll uh, I'll post a link 
That's that's gonna take you eight hours to complete. <laughs> so that's only for the diehards, and uh, that will get you a good chunk of money, that's for sure. But it's eight hours, and it's taking you everywhere in the system. So it's a really good cargo route. I'm gonna put it in the uh, description. I feel like it's getting uh, not enough attention as it should, because it's the biggest damn route out there. Oh, my, my keyboard sometimes um, refuses to walk. That's annoying. And I'm not sure what it is. Sometimes does that and it stops walking. Super annoying. I'm gonna run. Sorry, guys. It's just super annoying. Closer up. Nobody on the ship. Yep, we're good. We're good. Onwards to um, to area eighteen. Got the cargo. Looks all right. So annoying. It's not. It's not the game though. It's my um, my keyboard. I have it with other games as well. I think um, maybe it just needs a new battery. <laughs> it's a remote one. So maybe this is the keyboard telling me that it needs a new battery. There we go. Oh, my shields are down. That's not good. Gonna wait a little bit. Our corp, here we come. So it's a lot closer, but you'll you'll get a lot, uh, a little less money. It's not even too much. Well, I, I think about thirty thousand less, which is actually a lot. <laughs> I just I just want to go to area eighteen now, but. Um, Officially, the route is from Horizon to this place and back again. That will get you the most. Right, let's uh, let's get her up. up there we go we'll go around this one thank you and please visit again I wonder what that box is. 28 million kilometers from here. Interesting. Right. Arcorp, here we come. Arcorp is my home, my home planet. Area 18 is really my my favorite city. I do like to go there actually. And um, 
it's the city where I always have started this game. So, nice good memories on that. Let's get a beer. Let's see if we can get a beer. We only have a little trip to go, so it won't take long. And normally I cut all this this quantum travel out, but um, last time people seem to like it, so <laughs> I'll leave it in. I'll leave it in for this trip. There we go. It's all. Oh, you fellow, come on here. I'll I'll save you. Have a nice road beer on the way there. Don't worry, it's light, it's alcohol free. We won't be drinking and, and, and working alcohol at the same time. We don't. Just chuck it down. <laughs> oh, the, uh, the drugs indicator doesn't indicate that it's alcohol free. Interesting. Might not be then. Sorry. <laughs> the looks of it. We're almost there. I can hear it breaking already. Slowing down. Oh yeah. See that's pretty fast go up and down there. You can do this also of course between area 18 and this place. Uh, it will you know, get you up and down a lot quicker probably will make you more profit in one evening if you're if you're out to get you know, the maximum um, amount of profit. There you go. Area 18, let's go. Let's go home. Make some money. There we go. Area 18. Looks like it's not too cloudy. That's good. You can actually see the place. Oh, it's turning. I think it's turning evening. Uh, let's see. I think it's, it's right up there. Yep. There we go. Let's uh, let's get this thing down. Gonna gonna do it role play style. Uh, another another screenshot. Hold on. There we go. Gonna do this uh, role play style. I'm gonna gonna land it um, first person. Let's do that. Probably gonna scratch the paint, but you know. Let's see which uh, which hangar they give us. Let's
Should be a good one. Should be able to um, to get in there. Driving. All right, let's uh, <laughs> let's let's park it without scraping too much of the paint, which is not going to happen. <laughs> Yeah, I got it back in camera. It looks all right. Oh, oh that's the back. Oh. The back is scraping. <laughs> oh, I'm, I'm way off. <laughs> have a parking sensor beeper. <laughs> I think I think that was okay. We'll uh, we'll touch that up with a bit of paint. <laughs> Alright. And you know lights out. Well, to be honest, that's a that's quite quite narrow hangar. That wasn't such a bad job at all. seems to be working again that's interesting all right last stretch of the trip sell make the money and of course do this a lot faster if you just run around the place absolutely but um, I just prefer not <laughs> not to run I don't know what it is I just I just don't I got all the time in the world Yeah, that's, that's going to be really, really interesting to have your own hangar with all your stuff. And I think you can dress it up. I got some flare items ready to go. And it's going to kind of probably feel like a house, like a home thingy. Um, I like that. I don't like it particularly that you have to go back to your home um, city. I'd, I'd rather have it in uh, in my space station base, but um, yeah, who knows? Maybe it will it will get me back to Area 18 a lot more, like coming home. 
Um, ah, okay. I was worried for a second. <laughs> Store the Carrack. Please visit us again. From transforming worlds to exploring the stars, our Corp is proud to bring the universe. So, this is going to be inventory uh, units right over here. So, when you come back, you can just pick and, and you know choose your inventory and take with you like I said I really like that idea I also like the idea I don't know if that's coming in in this big update but the fact that you can't walk around in your flight suit in the cities or something like that so you have to change that's I really like that as well it's gonna probably result in a lot of naked people <laughs> people that don't give a damn uh, but it's also going to result in people that do give a damn and um, making the whole immersion a bit more realistic. See people in, you know, outfits. I think they're going to pay a little bit more attention to that. And, uh, oh, hello, what's going on here? <laughs> this is this is intimate, you guys. Come on. So I think that's... You know, it's all good things that are coming, and it feels like the last year it's it's been going so fast with a lot of uh, new things. Um, of course, the testing of the meshing the servers, and it's incredible. Uh, pyro on the way, it's all incredible, I think, and that's gonna add more to everything. And that means I can do more videos. Because when Pyro is here, we're going to do some proper proper trucking videos with the crew. And uh, some long trips. Should be really interesting to do that. Looking forward to that. Let's go guys, come on. Alright, onwards to sell our goods. Should be good good change, a good chunk of change, good money. Overall a great trip, I would say. Also can't wait for this ride to be smooth again. It, at some point it was smooth, it was good. Uh, but now somehow it's not. But that's all good. Ooh, might go to the bar later on. Now arriving. Alright, we are reaching the end of our journey, just the selling part left.
And I have to say it's very quiet. I haven't seen any other plays around. Having a lot of um, half empty servers lately, like 50, 60 people. So I personally can't wait for the server mashing to go and uh, happen. That way it should be a lot more, um, yeah, a lot more people running around, a lot more um, interaction, I hope. Also a lot more space dicks, probably. <laughs> we'll see about that. But in general, I think it's going to be uh, a lot of good folks out there. TDD, that's where it's at. Selling the goods after a very nice trip. Like I said, I'm going to Area 18. You should go to Horizon if you want to make the most money out of it. So that's going to be in the description. The officially official drop-off point, Horizon. But I just love this place, so I'll go here instead. Well, let's see how much we get. Carrack. Sell. 1.22. A little less under two uh, 200,000. That's really good. We had the 20,000 from the scrap. I would say that's good. Like I said, take the cat, you get more. Take the um, take the C2, you get even more. So with the C2, you should be around 300,000 or more. 350, I think. Loading up the scrap for my next trip. Oh, did it take that? Because uh, I never fly empty. When I'm flying out, I have scrap or food or anything on there that I can sell easily. That's ready to go on to the next adventure. So um, this is the end of this video for me. Um, like I said, I'm in the game. I'm not going anywhere. My videos are not just not that often as there's not much content yet. But um, yeah, I love seeing you guys in the verse. Say hi if you see me in the server. And uh, Always a good time. Let's see. That's the wrong button. <laughs> That's a, I got that one. What's the other one? Gotta figure out my buttons. Oh. <laughs> That's... That's directed at me. <laughs> okay. I think this is the right one. So, um, thanks guys for watching and your ever, ever support. Um, we'll be back soon. And see you guys out there in the verse. Okay, cheers, bye-bye.